hi friends how are you all doing i hope you're all fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber just know that i appreciate much may god bless you but if it's the first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i I upload a new video I promise you you always enjoy every content that I upload in this channel so dear friends to any lady out there who is like I'm so into white men I want to date a white guy I want to get married to a white guy sit down and watch this video from the start till the end and you guys that have met maybe white guys on online dating apps and you are in a relationship right now maybe you are engaged already sit down watch this video till the end and if you're someone who always enjoy gist videos <laughs> <laughs> then sit down enjoy this video guys you're going to learn a lot especially you guys that are into white men i'm not here to say that white men are so bad just because of today's video or white guys are so good just because of today's video or don't date white guys or, or don't date black guys or only date black guys no that is not my intention my intention of bringing this story to you is for you all to shine your eyes while you are searching for that white man or while you are dating that white man so my just lovers <laughs> oh my god this story is full of afro cinemas <laughs> from the start till the end <laughs> and to all my goodies lovers <laughs> <laughs> last time i did a matchmaking show and i saw you guys how you were forcing the goodies in the picture <laughs> so today no need to force the goodies <laughs> in the story it will be there <laughs> yeah so without wasting much of your time guys let us jump into today's video and i would like to tell you what it is all about <laughs> So dear friends, you already know that in our today's video, we are going to be having a story time of a Kenyan lady in her 20s by the name of Janet who found love on online dating apps with a Norwegian guy by the name of Eric. She found love with that Norwegian guy after one week of joining that dating app. But guys, what happened to Janet after being in a relationship with that Norwegian guy, it is going to shock you so much. And that is why I am here doing this video for you, my beautiful sisters, because I care for you so much. And I wouldn't want you to find yourself in a situation where Janet found herself in. But be careful, be aware of the things that can happen while you dating a white guy and how to go about it so guys let us begin this story so dear friends i can't just start this video by telling you how she joined that dating app and then met the norwegian guy before telling you first about her past love relationship experience a bit of it so that you get to understand where janet comes from and what pushed her to join online dating apps so we are going to be digging a little bit deeper to know janet's past love relationship experience was she in a relationship with a kenyan guy and if yes how was it like how did it go then to what pushed her to be on online dating apps so dear friends janet's story starts in 2019 when she met this cute kenyan guy they started dating all was good they were so much in love with each other tells us the kenyan guy was two years older than her but very responsible could spoil her very very much with money with gifts whenever could go visit her at her place never went empty handed so the relationship continued but came a problem whereby this guy was struggling a lot 
to balance things. He was a workaholic. He could work, 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 neglected everyone around him, including Janet. But Janet kept on telling him, you have to make time for me. No matter how life gets busy, you need to find time for me. He said, I will work on it, but never worked on it. So days kept on going, then years passed, and at that time, Janet graduated. After graduating, started her own business, started chasing her goals. Told the boyfriend, you see, right now, we're both working. I know it's going to be even more difficult for us to meet, but you have to make time for me and I will make time for you. The guy was like, okay, I understand. I will make time for you, but still was the same. And Janet wanted a guy who will give her time, a guy who will give her attention, not working all the time. So in the end, Janet was like, no, no matter, we have been dating for so long, because at that time it was three years relationship. She said, no, I have to end this. So she called off that relationship. So Janet tells us when she ended the relationship with that Kenyan guy, it was New Year's Eve 2021, but never stuck at, oh my God, I've lost the love of my life. What can I do now? No, because tells us she's someone when she thinks about doing something, she thinks very well. So had thought very well of leaving the boyfriend, it never bothered her at all. <laughs> was like, right now I'm going to concentrate on my business, you know, new life, new year, new opportunities. And yes, that January tells us made lots of money in her business that she had never made since she graduated from the university. So guys, cause Janet was single, started going out with her friends, having fun, trying to get into the world, get your identity, how you want your life to look like, and all those things. So friends, cause Janet used to go out with her friends, so tells us one time, went with one of her best friend to this beautiful boutique restaurant to have fun. So as they were seated there, you know, enjoying, taking some drinks, saw a group of four white guys. And one of those four white guys walked towards them, started talking to them, introduced himself. He was looking so nice, young, <laughs> 32 years of age. His name is Harry. So one conversation led to another. And in the end, the three friends came and sat on the same table with Janet and her friend. So they kept on talking, you know, normal conversation about life. They never made them feel, you know, uncomfortable. They were really, really gentle with them, which made Janet be like, hmm, maybe next time I think I should date a white guy. <laughs> Yeah, due to how these guys treated them. They even paid their bill. So they talked and talked that evening. Eventually, they shifted <laughs> to a certain club whereby it was a club, but it wasn't all that noisy. You could talk. There were some sofas. So they went to the sofas and started talking, you know, enjoying. They really, really enjoyed so, so much. Tells us around 2 a.m. decided to go home. Then Harry offered to take them home. Harry took them home and as they were going, told Janet that I would really like to see you again. Janet was like, it's okay, no problem. So that day ended like that. So when Janet met Harry, it was February and they started going out, you know, on dates throughout the month of February. He was so nice, treated her so good, and she was like, hmm, I'll never date a black guy again. <laughs> if being around a white guy feels like this, oh yes, <laughs> I am here to stay. <laughs> yeah, and in March, Harry asked Janet if they can date. Janet was like, yes, sure, why not? <laughs> and they started dating. Tells us their relationship was really, really good. Harry was such a gentleman, could treat her so nicely, could spoil her, could give her everything. You could ask, 
those good stuffs that girls like <laughs> Harry could give all to Janet. Janet was over the moon. So a bit about Harry. Harry is one of the rich kids <laughs> in Kenya, but originally from the UK. His family has been in Kenya for generations and generations. They were those colonizers, so they've got lots of businesses in Kenya and also they've got gold mines in Sierra Leone. So Harry was to stay in Kenya and then after three months he was supposed to go to Sierra Leone for family business. So Janet knew everything about Harry's life but tells us was not all that full into a relationship with Harry. She was just trying to get to know him because remember she's someone who has been dating a guy, just one guy, for a long period of time, three years. So for her, everything was new. You know, dating a white guy all new. Wanted to have fun, but tells us was exclusively dating Harry. So Janet tells us around April, that is the time whereby Harry was supposed to go to Sierra Leone for family business left Janet in Kenya. So after Harry being in Sierra Leone, communication started being a problem cause Harry could disappear for a week without talking. And then when he returns online, he's like, I was in the gold mines, there is no electricity, which means there is no internet. So it kept on like that and that made Janet to detach herself from that relationship reached a point was like hmm, i don't think this is the kind of a relationship that i want and like i told you she was just you know learning to love him so it was easy for her to end that chapter and move forward and the relationship too was still young remained single with no one but kept on with her life meeting her friends yeah just like that so friends janet tells us she remained single and then one day here comes her best friend she's like you know what janet we are so vanilla we just ended you know our relationships single never tried online dating apps <laughs> but there is this colleague who told me about a certain dating app and cause these days you don't go out how are you going to meet people i think it is good you try and also i want to try it out <laughs> also told her a bit about that dating app that it is a lady who should make the first approach to a guy <laughs> A guy cannot write to you, so you're going to choose the guys to write to. You want to receive weird messages from guys, and let's say if a guy responds to you, likes your profile, then comes that he's not a good guy, he behaves badly, you just unmatch that person, and when you unmatch him, he will never be able to message you again. So I think the app is really good. <laughs> and I know some of my dating gurus, <laughs> you already know the name of this dating app, but I'll tell you the name of the dating app before I end this video. So you have to be patient and wait till the end of this story because this story is so juicy. So let's keep on with the story. So with Janet did not join that dating app immediately, but the friend joined, <laughs> downloaded the app and started using it and luckily found a guy, found a Kenyan guy because the friend was not interested in white guys like Janet. <laughs> yeah, so came and told Janet, oh my God, I'm really excited about this app. I've met someone, we have gone on a date. He's such a good guy. He treated me so good. And I'm also chatting with other guys. Please give it a try. So guys, cause Janet wanted a white guy was like, maybe this is a great opportunity for me to find another white guy. <laughs> Because I don't go out that much, I should use this opportunity. So that's when Janet decided to download that dating app and started swiping. So when she started swiping, the app could bring only black guys from Nairobi and she was not interested. <laughs> yeah, then after they started showing white guys. 
but tells us that is the time she realized that on online dating apps exist creepy people, people with sick mind, cause started getting messages, you know, chats with a guy, and then the guy starts telling her, oh my god, you've got beautiful lips, good for doing a play. <laughs> Oh my goodness, telling her those weird, weird things that you guys at on online dating apps are aware. <laughs> yeah, but for Janet, it was totally a new experience. <laughs> so after her having that bad experience, <laughs> was like, no, this is not for me. I've never experienced this, decided to quit. So and after quitting, stayed out of it for some time and then returned again <laughs> was like let me give it a second chance and see what is gonna happen so after janet coming back to that dating app swiped and swiped then came across an australian guy the guy's name is nikki he was 31 years old but was already in nairobi he was touring around africa for three months on a backpacking so they talked everything was flowing and after two days of chatting nick invited janet on a dinner date I was like i would like to take you out for dinner so that we can meet and get to know each other and it was like sure no problem it's okay tells us never had lots of expectations because in her mind knew already if that guy is in kenya probably has met other girls or is still meeting other girls so just wanted to go out and meet you know someone new that's all <laughs> so guys janet decided to go on a date with nick they went to this beautiful restaurant in nairobi after meeting of course janet liked the guy he was really cute very decent and everything blended in so well they could talk and talk and talk and want to talk more <laughs> so they ate after eating decided to shift to another club where they took till late night so while there nick told janet that after a week wants to go to tanzania you know to tour around tanzania then after that come back to Kenya, go to Mombasa, after Mombasa, go to Kigali. Janet was like, oh, that's good. So their date went really good and Janet returned back home. So after returning back home in the morning, received a message from Nick telling her that would like to go with her to Tanzania <laughs> on a tour. And Janet was like, you know what, Nick? My business is still young and I am everything in my business i'm the manager i am the delivery guy i'm the customer care name it all <laughs> i don't have anyone helping me so i can't just leave my business just like that and go to tanzania without having a plan so nick was like no problem don't worry look for someone who will manage your business while you are away and i'm going to pay for everything because i feel like we have something special and here comes janet is like bella <laughs> these guys on online dating apps can make you feel like you're the most awesome person on earth <laughs> due to their words and it's very very true guys <laughs> so this guy was like i really like you so so much and i've got a very strong feeling towards you <laughs> That is why I want to take you along to Tanzania. <laughs> but Janet tells us it was really good communicating with him. They had that good connection that helped her know Nick on such a deeper level. So after Nick asking Janet to look for someone to manage the business, Janet talked to her sister and her sister was just home. The sister said, yes, I will look after your business when you go to Tanzania. <laughs> but the sister was like, oh my God, you're going to Tanzania with a guy that you just met a week ago on online dating apps. <laughs> you know, guys, sometimes you can do crazy, crazy things with these guys on online dating apps, but it is what it is. <laughs> Let's keep on with the story. So Janet tells us before they go to Tanzania, he gave her the money to do the yellow fever and other stuffs. But Janet tells us is someone who really likes to ask questions. So that is when she started asking Nick 
questions about his family and then nick because he was open they had a very good connection started opening up so when janet asked him about his family nick was like with my mother we don't have that good communication she comes in and out of our lives just like that so it has been a year since i communicated with my mother my parents separated when we were kids and even when they were still married they used to sleep in separate beds so after them separating it left me and my siblings with a trauma our father is the only person who has been in our lives that is when he added that he does not plan to get married and even if he gets married they are going to be sleeping different rooms because <laughs> he wants his own space and maybe meet during the week on agreed you know days that's it <laughs> also nick never wanted kids at all was like i'm not going to bring kids into this world and they suffer just like the way i suffered again nikki did not believe god existed which is something janet could not take at all was like i'm a christian yes i'm not all that religious but i pray and i believe god exists so if i'm going to be with someone i should be with someone who acknowledges god not someone that will see me praying and be like maybe i am stupid or started thinking that i'm doing weird stuff you know us black people how we praise the lord you know all the time it is praying it is mentioning god so with someone who does not believe god exists it was going to be a huge problem <laughs> in the future so at that time janet got the whole picture of how this nick is i was like no he's not for me there is no need for me to go to tanzania on a trip with him whereby i know deep inside i am not ready to be with him because we have totally different values so I told herself no i cannot take that sacrifice of leaving my business and everything into something that i know it has no future so I decided to tell nick i think we share different values so this relationship will never work let us end things so that is how janet's third relationship failed but i'm also proud of her because she never wanted to waste his time and never wanted nick to waste her time this is how we should behave as beautiful ladies who knows what we want in life so guys after the relationship with an australian guy failing janet decided to go back to online dating apps because remember she wants that white man <laughs> yeah so did not give up could log in into the app and then log out was not all that active and then remembers it was on 16th of august she was on that dating app swiping and then came across a profile of this norwegian guy tells us was not supposed to swipe to him but for some reasons kept on looking at his profile and then saw that he was 46 years of age she was like mm, his age but what attracted her more to him was that he was dressed so nicely in a suit and tells us she has got a weakness with guys who dresses up very elegantly classy yeah <laughs> so decided to swipe and when she swiped immediately it's a match but did not send him a message that day waited until the next day that is when she texted him so after texting this norwegian guy on 17th of august 2022 immediately the guy responded and from there they started chatting so they asked each other you know those normal questions what are you looking for in this app how long have you been single i've been single for eight years she asked him you have been single without any woman for eight years he said no of course i've been into relationships but they never led to anything serious so that is why i told you i've been single for eight years so they chatted and he was like i really like you so much you're the most beautiful woman on earth that i've ever seen 
if it is okay with you we can exchange whatsapp numbers so he gave her his whatsapp numbers and she gave to him her whatsapp numbers after going to whatsapp it's janet who wrote to a guy first that hey this is janet we met on the app and without writing anything he sent his photos to her so these photos was of him at Diani Beach. <laughs> and then Janet was like, oh, wow, you have been to Kenya. He said, yes, I've been to Kenya seven times. I don't know where were you. I didn't meet you. <laughs> Janet was like, wow, I've been to the coast, but never been to Diani. And he was like, really, I would like to take you one day to Diani. Actually, Eric was in Kenya February that year. <laughs> so they kept on getting to know each other and then Janet decided to send her photos to him. Oh my goodness. After seeing her photos, I like, oh wow, you're so, so beautiful. I will be so proud to have a beautiful woman like you. <laughs> <laughs> then gave her loads of compliments. It was compliments after compliments. So he asked her, have you ever dated a white guy? Janet was like, yes, I've ever dated white guys, but it never ended good. And you? No, no, no. I've never dated a black woman. You are the first black woman for me to date. I've been to Kenya so many times, but never been with a black woman. So this guy was trying to make Janet feel so special to this guy but in real sense guys has this guy never dated a black woman before <laughs> mm, i don't know we're gonna find out let us keep on with the story so janet too decided to ask him about his past if he has ever married before eric was like no i've never married before but i've got two beautiful girls with my ex-girlfriend and i'm so thankful i did not marry her so she asked him why are you saying that then he was like no i don't want to talk about it that's the past so Janet is like okay let's respect boundaries you know it is the first time talking maybe as we get to know each other he's gonna open up and tell me what really happened so that same same day he asked for a video call and after a video call ending he sent these messages so the message was like i feel a very strong connection between us i've never felt like this with anyone before where were you all these days i wish my mother was alive so that i can introduce you to my mother i know she would have been so happy <laughs> So he did not stop there. He kept on telling Janet that I have this strong feeling in the stomach that you are the one. It's like we have known each other for years. <laughs> I've been to Kenya so many times, but finally I have found you. <laughs> that was the first day, guys. If you were the one, what could have you felt? Could you have believed in that guy? or not let me know in the comment section as we continue with this story but on janet's side that guy came the right time <laughs> it is right and wrong to her it seemed right at that time because tells us mentally was not in a good place because there is a lot that was going on in her life Two of her sisters were admitted at the hospital. One had a premature birth, so was going to stay at the hospital for three months. And Janet was supposed to go to the hospital every single day to visit the sisters because, of course, the sisters were not good. So it also affected her very, very much. But also tells us her business was not going good and she did not have a job so this guy coming with all those sweet sweet words she was like this is the only best thing that has come into my life now so she felt a bit of a relief having someone telling her all those sweet romantic words and here guys i would advise any lady that is going through lots of problems she is so vulnerable at this moment should not put herself into a new relationship 
because at that time you won't be able to see the red flags your mind is not reading through you know <laughs> so better solve whatever you are going through when you are at your happy place your mind is clear you've got a healthy mind then you can start dating because what happened here this guy came at the time whereby Janet's mind was not reading through due to all the problems that she was facing at that time. So here comes the next day. This guy tells Janet that I love you so much. You are the love of my life. I can't wait to marry you. Please promise me that you are going to be faithful. You are going to wait for me. Janet told him, yes, I'm going to be faithful and you two should be faithful so when janet told him you have to be faithful too he was like yes i am going to be faithful to you please wait for me i will come in february 2023 because i will have some holidays please wait for me i've even deleted the dating app now i am yours and you are mine that's when they started dating officially guys <laughs> and from there started calling janet every single day they could chat during the day so he was constantly there for her <laughs> you know and she could tell him everything that was going on the hospital and all that so her life was going to the hospital see what her sisters needs go buy those things and then return back home the next day same same thing so while doing all that kept on communicating with eric so he started telling her how he's always thinking about her how he's gonna get married to her having kids live that happily ever after <laughs> so when janet told her sisters they were like huh <laughs> But Janet was like, no, it feels good. He has been so sweet. He always talks to me. <laughs> yeah, you know, when you're in love. <laughs> and with all those sweet words, uh, of course, you could have fallen into the same situation. <laughs> But dear sisters, be very careful with guys that have got laws of sweet talks. So they kept on talking and Eric was like, I've talked to my kids about you. But Janet at that time had not talked to the kids. Also said, I've talked about you with my friends and at work, I've wrote you as my emergency number. Imagine guys, <laughs> if anything happens to Eric, then the first person to be called is janet oh wow <laughs> janet was really really happy but those us never talked to any of his friends only believed what eric was telling her so it kept on like that good sweet talks lovey-dovey <laughs> <laughs> yes, sometimes Janet tells us he could sexualize but never asked her for nude pictures or sent his. <laughs> but in Janet's mind was like, mm, 46, I'm so ashamed to introduce him to my family. He talked to some of her friends and her friends were like, don't you feel the difference, you know, dating someone who is older? And it was Janet's first time to date someone older than her so she told the friend no actually not he's so loving he's so sweet and i really feel good talking to him so the relationship kept on going but janet tells us they never went so deep into things like eric wanting to know janet maybe about her character and those deep deep personal things no they could talk a bit and then go back to the compliments go back talking about himself so every day was the same nothing different only sweet talking <laughs> yeah so he could be like i can't wait to marry you i wish you were here oh my god i can't believe i've got such a beautiful wife <laughs> you know i'm so proud men are going to be so jealous at me you know being with such a beautiful woman you know making her feel like she is the queen <laughs> So as the relationship continued, her friends knew about Janet's boyfriend. So one of the friends came and showed her a video on TikTok of a lady 
who was married to an older guy got divorced and found another white guy so this lady in the video was advising women that are dating older guys in order to know if that older guy is really serious with you, you should test him by asking money from him. <laughs> if he does not give you, then just know he is not interested and he can take a good care of you. He is not responsible because you can't date an older guy and then he does not take care of you. That is how the lady on TikTok was advising. So told ladies to test their boyfriends so after janet seeing that video told the friend you know what our relationship has been three weeks it's too early to start asking money was like let me wait and see but the friend was like i think the lady on tiktok is very right because you can't date someone in a long distance he's an older guy and he tells you to wait for him you don't know if he's gonna come or not for him at least he should invest something to know if he is serious. But still, Janet did not ask money immediately to Eric. I was like, let me wait, time to keep moving. So Janet kept on with her life, going to the hospital. But whenever she could talk to Eric about the whole situation, it is stressing her. He could not be empathetic, you know? He could be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But she could feel it's like someone who is not interested, you know, in her problems, <laughs> but kept on with the relationship. So it happened one time Janet went to the hospital to visit her sister because one of the sisters had gone out of the hospital, remained the other one who had an early bath. So it was really a long day. She was really tired, stressed and returned home. Eric calls on a video call. So when she took the call, she was not smiling because she was tired that day. And then Eric was like, you're not happy to see me. Why is that today you're different? You're not with that, you know, bubbly face that I am used to. What is going on? It's like you never wanted to see me. <laughs> oh my God. Told him, honey, I've had a very stressful day. Guys, what Eric did ended the video call on that same, same moment. So what Janet decided to do after that, looked for him and tried to explain, but the guy still was pissed off never replied gave her a silent treatment for two days that is when janet came to me to talk to me about this eric so when she told me about the whole thing i was like mm, that is immature <laughs> he's acting immature but if you have explained yourself and still he is not understanding let him be when he cools down he's gonna look for you if he is really interested in you so yes after two days he returned and still janet said i am sorry you know so that everything can go well and i've seen this a lot in ladies that are on online dating apps you're chatting with a guy when he disappears on you oh my god you go on a panic that's when you come to me on instagram bella what can i do like you're not breathing <laughs> If the guy disappears on you, let him be. If he is interested, he is going to come back. There is no need for you to cry. There is no need for you to panic. There is no need for you to call him all the time. No, do not do that. And guys, let me talk a bit of him wanting her to smile all the time. By the way, that's a red flag, clearly. Because it means Eric wanted Janet to be that perfect woman whereby no one is perfect <laughs> in this world and you can't be smiling all the time. Yes, for example, I always smile. You guys always see me smiling. <laughs> but what happens in real life that some days I don't smile. Maybe I am very down or maybe someone upset me. <laughs> <laughs> you know and that day when i'm so upset when i'm so down something happened i don't come here because i can't come here and start making those fake smiles not at all even some of you whom we have been communicating on instagram i know that some days you can tell today bella mm, 
<laughs> she's not in a good mood even one lady wrote to me was like it's like it's not you it's like you're a different person that i've been seeing on youtube because <laughs> that day when she came to me i was really off <laughs> totally off and that is how we human beings are you can't be smiling every day you can't pretend to be perfect to a guy whereby deep down you are going through a lot so that was a very very big red flag and when you see that in a guy a guy that wants you to be perfect a guy that never wants you to do any mistake run run for your life dear sister so let's continue with janet's story so they kept on talking and janet remembered that she had a very important plan because she had got a scholarship to go to the uk to study so she was like i think it is good i tell this guy he seems serious <laughs> i can't keep this to myself I have to tell eric that i've got a scholarship and i'm planning to go to the uk to study for my master oh my god they were on a video call again he got pissed off and ended the call then sent her a message good night that is when janet again had to run after him and was like what is going on are you angry he was like what do you think you're going to the uk to study honey i've got good plans with you i want to marry you you can always come and study here in norway we have got the best universities in the world <laughs> because <laughs> Norway is the most beautiful country in the world so you'll come here you'll study your master honey all I need is your paperwork today I'll start looking for schools <laughs> and yes he started looking for schools and sent her all the schools the universities that were doing the same course that Janet wanted to go to the UK to study it's like i don't want to lose you just abandon that plan you'll come and study here we have got the best universities you will also be living for free again she came back to me and asked me when she asked me about it i was like janet for me my advice you should leave your options open do not give up on that scholarship still keep observing the guy so with janet never abandoned her plan because still had lots of time till April 2023. Kept on observing Eric to see how it will go. <laughs> so guys, the relationship kept on going and that's the time Janet felt like it is good to tell Eric about Kenyan culture and traditions if you want to marry someone because he seemed serious <laughs> and told him about paying for the dowry oh my god eric was like you know what honey you should put it in your mind that i am not a millionaire meaning he was not ready to pay for the bride price <laughs> but the relationship continued because remember still janet's problems were not over yet so she was so vulnerable and wanted someone like eric to keep telling her sweet words to keep her moving so that is why the relationship kept on going so after she kept on dating eric also came across my channel like i told you she checked me out for an advice so tells us the stories of other ladies story times <laughs> helped her gain experience and get to navigate in her relationship <laughs> yeah started shining her eyes a little bit so guys as their communication kept on going the relationship is growing now it was around end of september that is when eric decided to introduce janet you know on a video call to his girls they were really very sweet to janet and they showed her that they like her very very much from there they started sending her very cute notes like i'm so proud to have you as my half mom you know sweet sweet notes that will really melt your heart janice was so so happy and couldn't wait to meet the girls so guys apart from the girls never introduced janet to anyone else because said has got only the girls and his mother passed away long time ago so during that month of september eric was going to court 
with the ex-girlfriend, the mother to the kids. And that day, Janet asked Eric what is going on, how did it go after the court. He was like, I'm so stressed right now. This whole court thing is draining me mentally. I don't want to talk about it. You know, you're the most beautiful thing that has come into my life. So I don't want to ruin everything with this negativity. <laughs> <laughs> never talked anything that took him to court with the ex-girlfriend <laughs> that's another red flag guys because if you're talking with a guy he is open with you you are open with him why not talk a bit of what is going on <laughs> A bit, I'm not saying that he should tell you everything in two details, but a bit for you to get the picture of what really is going on. He never did, guys. So let's be careful on this too, because I know exists lots of guys on online dating apps that are divorced <laughs> or separated, and you find a guy telling you, I'm going to court, I've got this, you're fighting with the ex and all that. But I remember advising you too to be careful. Don't put yourself in relationships that are complicated. Better get out yourself of that relationship. And by watching this story till the end, you will get to understand why I'm telling you so or why I told you so in the video that I did. So guys, Eric kept on telling her sweet words. I like you. I love how you dress. You dress so feminine. <laughs> you look good, so classy. I'm so happy to come across a very beautiful woman, kind, elegant, sweet, romantic, and from a very good family. It's so hard to find all those qualities in one person so i am very very lucky and also promise her you will never lack whatever you want baby i am going to give you promised her the world <laughs> so when she heard that I was like oh yes it's time to put into action <laughs> the advice i got from a TikTok lady of testing him by asking him money to see if he is ready to invest in this relationship so that I see if he is serious or not. So guys, testing time. <laughs> so Janet was like, because this guy says he likes me and he can give me anything that I want. Thought of what to ask and decided to write to him a message was like hi honey i was thinking if you could spoil me this weekend because you know i'm broke i don't have a job <laughs> i've lost money in my business so i'm running out of my skincare products if it is okay i'm in need of 150 dollars so that i can buy my skincare products janet was like hey, hey bella <laughs> Eric was like, I hate, I hate it when people ask me for money. Did I tell you I'm a millionaire? Do you think I make money in my basement? The problem with you African people, you think people in Europe, money falls from the tree. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was like, what? I didn't see this coming. <laughs> so I was like, it's okay, honey. I thought you could help me because you told me anything that I want, you're going to give it to me. It's not that we people in Africa think that you earn your money easily or money falls from the tree. No, we know you guys work hard. Just like here in Africa, people work hard to earn their money. So it's okay, don't worry about that. But from there, Janet knew that he made it clear, never ever try to ask me for money. And it's like he created something, a wall, something to scare Janet from opening up, from being free around him. So he was like, no, why would you ask me money to buy for your skincare products? You can ask me money for important things, maybe pay for the bills, but not your creams. And I saw that you are living in a very nice apartment. How comes you can't afford $150 to buy your own cream? So she was like, I just assumed, but it's fine. And at that moment, I know Janet was feeling very small like this. <laughs> Due to the words that Eric 
told her, oh my God, some men can put your self-esteem very low. And guys, when you find yourself around that energy, better run. Run as early as possible. I love you. That is why I'm telling you this. So guys, even though Janet was going through a lot that month of October, he never bothered, you know, to get deep into things to understand what is wrong with her. How are you doing? How are the twins? Because her sister twins, but they were premature, like I told you. Never asked even how are your sisters? Nothing. He could come with his sweet promises, sweet words, compliment her. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Every day it was like that. To add on that, fell out of her longtime best friend. A friend that she knew for six good years, but came to understand that that friend was those friends that comes in your life to take. They just disappear in your life. So that friend could come, ask her for money. She could give her the money. Even Janet's mother paid for the rent of her best friend. <laughs> that is how their friendship was really, really strong, like a sister, but in the end, felt betrayed, felt taken advantage of. So their friendship ended that October. And you know, when you're going through lots of problems, at least you have that best friend, you know, you can count on her. But when you find yourself, you can't count on her, you really feel so, so bad. So I can try to imagine. So guys, yes, they kept on communicating. And in November, surprisingly, <laughs> Eric was like, I want to send you some money so that you can put it in your business so that you get something to get busy with while waiting to get a job. And Janet was so happy, asked her, how much can I send you? She was like, I think a thousand dollars will be enough to put into my business and start again. And yes, guys, Eric sent a thousand dollars to Janet. Janet was so happy, started the shipping process, you know, of her products, printing out the packing bags and started her business. So after Eric sending her a thousand dollars at the same, same time or same, same week, her father sent her 60K Kenyan shillings to put into the business and she told Eric about it. So when she told Eric, Eric got so pissed off, was like, how would your father send you that money? I sent you money already. <laughs> she was like, babe, don't worry. Still, I can use it as a fixed investment in the bank account for my business, making sure there is constant stock for the business. But he was not happy about it at all. So at that time, when he received the money from him, started feeling like, ah, oh, maybe he might be serious. So decided to talk to her sister-in-law and told her, you know, I found a guy on online dating apps. He is from Norway and we have been chatting. It's three months now. He sent me money even to open the business that you see I have opened. So the sister-in-law was like, really? She said yes. So the business kept on going. Life continued and her sister who was still at the hospital, now it was time to go back home. But the hospital bill was really, really a lot. Tells us it was 4.1 million. Though the insurance paid a half, the remaining money, the father had to clear it all. So lots of money was going out of Janet's father's pockets. <laughs> yeah, was building a house for Shosho and remember, sent her the 60K Kenyan shillings. So the dad called her, how is the business going? She was like, the business is okay. And also could update Eric everything about the business. Remember? He sponsored the business, so he should know. So the whole situation of getting upset just because the father sent her the money, <laughs> it's a red flag too. Because maybe he felt degraded, you know. It's not special. You know, the money you sent me, it's not special. So his ego got 
hurt but a guy with a healthy mind was even going to be more happier that at least you have got enough money to invest in your business if he loves you he will want good things for you but guys at that time janet couldn't see this as a red flag so she kept on with the relationship and told him everything that was going on all the bills and then he offered to pay for the rent but Janet tells us the dad had paid already the rent for November, but still he sent the money for the rent. When the money came, she had to put it in the business, but never told him anything because she knew how the guy is, <laughs> you know, and started to know how he is and what could be his reaction when he comes to know the money went to the business yeah and him sending the rent sending the money for the business it kind you know changed her mind and was like no i'm going to abandon my scholarship plan i think this guy is the one i think he is serious <laughs> so here is the problem i've been telling you dear beautiful ladies even if he sends you money it doesn't mean he is serious someone can be sending you money and he has got bad plans with you so it shouldn't be like you looking at the money the guy is sending you and make decisions please please because you might regret later just like we are going to be seeing this story as it continues so same same november bought his ticket to kenya and they started talking of how they're going to be happy to be together telling her you are my family you are everything promising her heaven and earth <laughs> so in november they already know the date in february that he is going to kenya and janet started slowly by slowly preparing things doing some shoppings you know and all that so guys the month of december came everything was going good the business is doing good is expecting her online boyfriend and also had got a job online as a virtual assistant so was earning some money there so was at her happy place at that time and then when christmas came she had to go home for christmas so during that time of christmas something very terrible happened in their family that she cried a lot and was like maybe we are cursed why is that when we start to be happy these things happen because they lost one of the twins it was really a bad moment for the family and eric was always there for her could call her could be like i'm sorry baby it's gonna be okay you know comforting her all through. they said goodbye to the newborn and then january came there were no dramas you know they were both excited to see each other you know they are seeing each other in february <laughs> so they kept on going out with her friends to do shoppings and at some point felt like oh yes this is the moment that i've been waiting for this is the man of my dreams because he was so consistent he was there for her you know and sending her the money <laughs> so felt like yes this is the man that i have been waiting for so it felt really good being out there shopping because the boyfriend is coming you know she was in that la la land <laughs> the sweetest moment ever <laughs> yeah and i can imagine the excitement guys the excitement can be on another but. level so on the other side the dad kept on pressuring her about the scholarship to go to the uk and decided to be like listen dad you know because my business is doing good and now i am working i think i'll put on hold that scholarship and then i will go later never wanted to tell the dad that i'm putting on hold the scholarship because of eric a guy who is way way older than her tells us the dad could be like i pwani nini shida ya mtoto wangu refusing the scholarship just because of an older white guy <laughs> that she met online <laughs> is she okay so never wanted to worry him about you know dating eric and all that never knew the reason to stop the scholarship 
was Eric. <laughs> Never introduced Eric to the parents. Wanted to first get to know him, be sure, because tells us, you know, our African parents and her dad is overprotective. <laughs> so couldn't just introduce Eric or take him to the parents without her being sure first that he is the one. So wanted to meet Eric and then later take him to her parents. So their plans was to go to the coast, Mombasa, Diani, you know, and enjoy good times. So Eric was going to land in Nairobi and then from there take the flights to the coast, but never told her parents about that. So kept on with her plans. So their entire time together was going to be four weeks, three weeks in the coast and one week in Nairobi. So he had bought even the tickets, he had booked everything, the hotels, everything was in order. So guys, the day to go to the airport came and she woke up very early, prepared herself, looking good, everything packed. Tells us had lots of sweet cases. You know, us ladies, how we prepare ourselves <laughs> when we are to travel. And imagine she was going to stay there in the coast for three weeks. So <laughs> she had lots of things in her sweet cases. So I went to Kenya Tower Airport. So tells us there, there are two international arrivals. There is an old one and a new one. Eric never told her specifically where he is going to be coming from, whether it is a new one or an old one. So, cause she arrived there an hour and a half before Eric lands, I need to ask one of the security officers, where is the international arrivals? And they asked her of which flights, like where is he coming from? And she was like, Norway. They told her, go downstairs. So she had to push the trolley and go downstairs to wait for Eric. So when she reached downstairs, wrote to Eric, I am here waiting for you. And Eric was like, it's okay, honey. I'm here clearing out things, you know, the bags and all that. Then you will see me. So she kept on waiting and waiting. Then Eric wrote, was like, I am here. I have arrived. Where are you? Then she was like, I am here and I'm seeing people coming out. Why is that I can't see you? So Eric got angry and was like, I'm here looking like an idiot. Where the f are you? Oh my God. So at that time, she started feeling so nervous. It is the first time meeting him and he's already shouting so angry. Oh my God. <laughs> told him, wait a minute, I have to ask. So she had to ask again and they told her, go upstairs and if you reach there if you don't see him go near where the curbs are Past like five minutes and had all those bags you know in the trolley it's heavy so she started pushing the trolley fortunately there is a guy who came helped her push the trolley and they kept on moving at that time he was texting you know <laughs> killing her with lots of text telling her where the are you i'm looking like an idiot here she could be like wait for me i am coming i went to a wrong international arrivals so the guy helped her cross the road and when she arrived hugged him but never felt at peace was really really nervous so she did not feel like a relief you know hugging him or any excitement she was really really tired so from there they had to walk to the domestic flights so as they were walking she had this heavy trolley pushing and the boyfriend eric was walking super fast and she was following you know behind so arriving at check-in you know she had to carry the bags and so that they can be checked but this guy never lifted even one bag to help janet janet was like oh my god is this the guy that i'm going to stay with for four weeks I don't know. From there, she started being super scared. And when she was passing on the metal detector, she had earrings, necklaces. This guy never told her, remove your earrings or remove your necklace. Left her like that so she could pass and the detector could make beep, beep, beep. 
beep so she could you know return back they could tell her remove the necklace just like that made her look really really stupid whereby this guy has been in kenya so many times he has traveled so many times so he knew everything for someone who cares was going to tell her you know simply remove one two three four so that you can pass easily but he never did that so she kept on telling herself <laughs> Yeah. so they passed and then went to the lounge arriving at the lounge he kept on telling her you could have come here early she told him i came early only that i was told to go to the wrong international arrivals i'm very sorry so he was like it's okay then started telling oh my god you look so beautiful even more than in the videos and the photos i'm so happy you know to have a beautiful woman like you so it passed like that and then two their flight to Diani. So guys, because this video has been really long, I am going to stop here. Though I hate part one and part two videos, but in this we have two. And then next time, I am going to tell you what happened in Diani because there is a lot, a lot guys, that is coming till the end of this story how it all ended i'm so sure after this whole video you will shine your eyes thank you so much guys for watching this video till now i really appreciate you much may god bless you please if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video subscribe if you have not subscribed i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao hello sophie you say six 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 six, six. 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 bye <laughs>